Good morning class 6 myself Ranjit Kumar I welcome you all in the e-learning program of Modern English School Kunti Nagar Nawada This is the ninth video lecture of the chapter getting to know your plant know the getting to know plants In last video we have seen different part of the flower in that we have seen the stalk is called pedicel the swollen part of the pedicel is called thalamus and the green color sepal like structure means petal like structure that grow is called sepals petals are the colored food or colorful or white structure means most prominent structure jo sabse dur se dikh jaye that is called petals and and the male reproductive part is called stamen and female reproductive part is called pistil and such flower is called bisexual flower so in today's video in continuation of that particular topic only we are seeing so this is a typical flower in which this is the pedicel thalamus sepal we know what is the function of pedicel it fix the flower on the stem uh, this thalamus thalamus is the swollen part on which the different part of the flower is arranged sepals the green colored leaf like structure of the flower that protect the flower in the bud stage is called sepal petals petals have very important function it is the most prominent means jo dur se dikh jaye it is brightly colored why it is brightly colored it is brightly colored to insect or attract or it uh, to bring insect or attract insect or bird so that the pollination can take place what is pollination that is transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma this is the main process for reproduction when pollen grain from anther reaches to stigma this pollen grain enters inside through stigma style and enter here and fertilization take place and this is called reproduction so it cannot happen pollen grain cannot come from anther to stigma by its own whenever an insect or bird come closer to the flower the body part of the flower come in contact with the anther and in anther if this is a anther this is if you cut an anther you will see a, a, it is a lobed structure like this and in this yellow powdery substance is present this is called pollen or pollen grain so when this anther burst open the pollen grain is present on the anther whenever an insect or the flower bird come closer to the flower the anther get stick to the body part of the flower uh, that bird when that bird move around and it uh, come closer means why at a time not all the nectar it will suck once it will come it will suck then again it will come while doing so uh, accidentally not birds aisa karne ke liye nahi aate hain accidentally the pollen grain from their body will fall on the stigma and this transfer of pollen grain for this flower is dependent upon air water or insect to ye pollination hone ke liye insect or air ya water kisi cheez pe depend karte hain flower so this pollination is done by the birds mostly so to attract birds or the insect these petals are brightly colored so that insect and bird come closer so once pollination happen means this is transfer of pollen grain happen one pollination happen this 
will form a pollen tube and this pollen tube will enter here and fertilization will happen once fertilization has completed slowly once fertilization has completed everything will wear off means if sub cheese toot kar sukh kar bikhar jayega everything everything will fall off only thing will remain is ovary and the ovule everything once pollination has completed ek bar pollination ho gaya flower ka jo petals hai jo anther hai jo stigma style hai ye sab toot kar sukh kar gir jayenge sirf bach jayega kya ovary aur ovule aur ye jo ovary hai dheere dheere after maturation jab maturation hone ke baad yahi ovary will change into fruit and this ovule will change into seed means change into change into seed so fertilization has happened seed is there once you eat the fruit throw the seed seed will meet proper temperature proper soil for proper water then new plant will grow so this is the process of reproduction in flower so we can say flower is the main part for the reproduction that take place in the plant so this part this sepals if sepals will not be there the flower cannot be saved in the bud stage if petal is not there insect will not come bird will not come no pollination will happen no pollination no fertilization no fertilization no fruit no fruit means no seed no seed means no new plant so for all this to happen petal is important okay petal is there so this anther and stigma is also important as we know all we have discussed this have the male reproductive cell and this it in the ovule it have female reproductive cell that you will see in senior classes but for now time for you what you have to remember is structure of the flower parts of the flower and one important thing that you have to keep in mind after fertilization ovary change into fruit and ovule change into seed these two point you have to keep in mind okay in last video only i have told you if this is the thalamus if this is the thalamus the sepals are arranged so one sepal is here one sepal is here one sepal means circular way if if this is the thalamus there will be one sepal here one here one here one here charu taraf se hota hai na so this is this circular arrangement of the sepal is called worm uske sepal ke andar jayenge to kya hai petals so the if you see so the sabse bahar kya sabse bahar ka layer kya ho gaya sepals इसके बाद का लेयर क्या हो गया पेटल्स इसके बाद क्या पाया जाएगा एंथर और इसके बाद क्या पाया जाएगा पिस्टिल सो so, सेपल एक तो नहीं है बहुत सारे सेपल्स हैं पेटल एक तो नहीं है बहुत सारे पेटल है एंथर एक तो नहीं है बहुत सारे एंथर है पिस्टिल एक तो नहीं सॉरी नॉट एंथर दिस इज स्टेमन स्टेमन एक तो नहीं है बहुत सारे हैं पिस्टिल एक तो नहीं है बहुत सारे पिस्टिल हो सकते हैं सो so, बहुत सारे पिस्टिल बहुत सारे पेचल बहुत सारे सेपल मीन्स एक चीज क्या कह रहे हैं द सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सेपल और पेटल और स्टेमन और पिस्टिल इज कॉल्ड World, W H O R L, world. So any circular arrangement of leaves, sepals, petals, etc. Around a common axis. Common axis means center तो है इसका. उसी के चारों तरफ ये arrange हो रहा है. So common axis is called world. So it is. See, 
they have some different name also for that it's not there for you that's why i'm not saying the name if someone ask you wall many sepals together form a wall this is called calyx many petals together form the wall corolla many stamen form the wall that is called androecium and many pistil form the wall called gynoecium so there are name also but it is not included for you that's why i am not saying sepals the wall of sepals many sepals form calyx wall many petals form corolla wall many stamen form androecium and many pistil form gynoecium but it is not included for you that's why i am not telling that so you only remember that many sepal petal stamen pistil all together if anything that is arranged in a circular manner that is called whorl one more thing sometimes sepals and petals means sometimes sepals and petals fuse together then it is called tepals it is called tepals so when sepals and petals fuse together then it is called tepals one important point is there that you have to keep ovary change into fruit and ovule change into seed you have to remember one more thing there in that one book in bharti bhavan this thing i have seen that i want to tell you what is this take a lady's finger bindi le lete hain ye ek bindi hai bindi ko aise kaat liye जब इसको काटेंगे तो आप देखिएगा इसमें छोटे 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 चैम्बर बने हुए होते हैं वो स्ट्रक्चर घर जैसा छोटा सा ट्रायंगुलर टाइप का एक घर जैसा बना हुआ होता है उस चैम्बर उस एरिया को कहते हैं लॉक्यूल्स और उसके अंदर जो बीज होता है जो सीड जिसको आप कह रहे हैं तो यंग सीड को हम लोग ओव्यूल कहते हैं तो दिस इज ए लेडीज फिंगर आई है दिस चैम्बर this chamber inside is called locules and this is called ovules so chambers presents inside the ovary where ovules are present is called locules this is one example here also you can say these are the chambers so these are called locules but aapko book mein nahi hai isliye hum nahi keh rahe hain just one thing i am just you keep in mind chambers presents inside the ovary where ovules are present is called locules okay so something you remember one thing that i want to keep every everyone to keep in mind is that all the part of the flower is, is arranged in a circular manner and this is called whorl the outermost whorl is of sepal the next whorl is of petal the next whorl is of stamen and the innermost whorl is of pistil if you go from inside first is pistil then is stamen then is petal then last is sepal choice is your if you go from outside in or inside out okay not all the flower have all the whorls all together aisa nahi hai ki har flower mein charo whorls hote hi hote hain kisi mein sirf and sirf stamen hai तो उसको मेल फ्लावर कहेंगे किसी में सिर्फ पिस्टिल है तो उसको फीमेल फीमेल फ्लावर कहेंगे किसी किसी फ्लावर में सिर्फ स्टेमन है तो उसको मेल फ्लावर कहेंगे बट चारों वर्ल तो नहीं है एक वर्ल नहीं है किसी में सिर्फ स्टेमन नहीं है बाकी सब है तो क्या हुआ उसमें तीन वर्ल पाए जाएंगे सो फ्लावर इन विच ऑल फोर वर्ल्स आर फाउंड दो आर कॉल कंप्लीट फ्लावर flower that have all the four whorls is called complete flower and a flower which lack any of the whorl koi bhi ek whorl agar usme nahi hai to us flower ko incomplete flower kehte hain ye chhota sa point hai isko aap isi se related yahi pe likh lijiyega whorl ke niche hi likh lijiyega is cheez ko uh, ya last mein bhi likh lijiyega agar sam jagah nahi hai to last mein bhi likhiyega a flower that contains 
all the four worlds all the four worlds is called complete flower and a flower which lack any of the world is called incomplete flower okay so hope you understand if you still anyone have any problem you can ask okay